So how much is the total? Uh, nah, I think I, I think I got some on my end. Okay. The mothers of my children, like my little boy mama. That's why you see me work with him more because I'm in the house with him. Mm -hmm. But I'm able to get more time with him. My other little, my uh, my girl's mother. She she think she think because I teach them what I teach them. It's like I'm going against Europeans. That's not what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you gotta teach them to be proud of who they are. That be the hardest part, man. That's what I be trying to tell because a lot of people look at me and what I do. Be like how you and Derek even align. Yeah. And I'm like, I speak in extremes, he live in extremes. You know what I mean? Like I admire, like if I had kids, I definitely want to move in that way. But it's more about just from being in education, it's like you gotta understand that if you're not teaching young black kids how to learn themselves, you naturally teach them to hate themselves. All right, when we on the way, nah. It's like I'm gonna stop for the more and more motivation for Work. What's up, man? This your boy Chainsaw Charlie. Uh, right now, I'm just sucking it all in. Everything is so surreal to me, but I did manifest this and write this down, so that's why it's important to plant small seeds. Because when that big dream you had come to fruitation, you know what I'm saying? It's, it tastes better. So, man, I'm just sitting back kicking it, man. Remember, follow your dreams, man. Stay, stay tuned. Me and Patrick walk away. Get it in. Hey, what's up, good people? Just touched down in LaGuardia, New York, New York. It's been a minute since I've been to the Big Apple. It's like, it's like my second home, man. Um, I made it to New York College to meet up with Derek. Uh, and from there, we're gonna hit the town, man. Charlie's first time at NYC, so we can get Tomorrow, we're gonna get up, sightsee, eat some good food, try to hit Yankee Stadium before the engagement with Derek at three. So, the same play. Y'all know the motto, man. Keep working. Things come true every day. Right here, just, just, well, huh? yeah, just took me to another look. You know what it was? What book is the Forbes? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the 444 joint. You know I what it was? Universe B. Yeah. I was trying to put the book out in December, and for whatever reasons, I couldn't get it out in December. Yeah, yeah. Universe had me put out January 6th. Hope was up for, for eight Grammys. And so oh, now he's up for eight Grammys. I, I wrote a book based on, on this Grammy Award winning album. Right. Everybody, yo, I'm talking about <laughs> okay, Forbes, so yo, Money Magazine, oh, Yahoo man. Finance, yeah. like. And then we're gonna do a Gary V timestamp on this video so y'all can see it. It's that travel life, like, I think it's sweet. That's what everybody asks for. But it ain't sweet, it ain't sweet. In and out, boom. Get home, rest for three days. Then we to Miami, same thing. And then week to week. In and out. They're yeah, like rappers, man. Your favorite speaker getting booked like your favorite rapper. Right. Unless it's little baby. We ain't getting little baby money right now. Cut that shit up, Quay. It'll, it'll come to you, bro, because what's going to happen, you're going to do it so many times. After that, it's just going to start flowing naturally. Like, you'll go in there and just. Right. I mean, I used to be on the way to the event, writing at the same time, trying to try. I like, damn, I'm glad that's so. I got I pretty much got it down back. But with me, now I do Q and A events, so yeah, it they, ain't even hard like that. Yeah, yeah, they hit me out last time because yeah. I went in there. I said, man, I said, man, that was smooth, man. <laughs> I said that was smooth because you get, you know, it make it flow better. Yeah, bro, and you let them, you let them gauge how they want it to go. Yeah. Ball players and niggas live over there across the way. Like all the hell and them first guys, they was staying right over there. Just touched down in Harlem. Uh, the event a little later today, man. Just really wanted to come soak up the culture, man. Anytime we go somewhere, I like to just be amongst the people. 
Uh, soak the energy up. Probably want to get, get all in tune with the history of Harlem. You know, he's going to tell me a lot about what he's been reading, probably. Yeah. This little baby girl, we be having shooting them guns. <laughs> we get pictures of the whole family here, too. Oh, man. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, Somebody like y'all, never, that, bro. You, you making me here, yeah. you your property. Word, they started. Hey, yo, my, yeah, yeah brother. respect. Bless it, my love the man. Yeah, Big up yeah, yourself, bro. respect, yeah, Rasta. Yo, Joe King Kuhn, he the best, bro. Yeah, this cameraman is the best. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. telling the white lady the truth. Hold on, I'm telling her everything she need to know. <laughs> but he the best. Yeah, I was, she not white to me, but. <laughs> Applause just for y'all, man. A round of applause for everybody that came out today. I've been getting this more knowledge. Y'all ever sat back and be like, I can't be the only one thinking this. Every day. So you go to the Google, you go to the Google office right now. I was in, I was in California. We was in Oakland not too long ago. When I was flying back, people tore the Facebook office. They tore the Google office. They will tell you, we don't make people sit in chairs. It kills their creativity. We let people sit in bean bags. They stand up at work. We have escalators and slides. People need breaks. But you gonna sit a six year old down for 90 minutes and give him a test that determines the rest of his life? But this research will tell you that human beings attention span is only five minutes plus or minus their age. So if I'm 40 years old, you might got 30 minutes with me. How many people in the room have, have, you may have had a conversation, but you saw a youngin' and he was like, what you wanna be? He was like, I ain't knowing. He was like, you got your whole life. How many people said that before? And it's my thing, right? We'll tell them they got their whole life to be what they truly wanna be, but we'll tell them they got nine weeks to figure out who Columbus was, master the information, and advance to the next grade. Bro, that's an issue. Like, and not even on the school front, that's an issue on the leader and the parent front. Like, okay, so you ain't applying no pressure for me to advance on an individual level. But you apply pressure for me to learn this division by tomorrow, otherwise I'm in trouble. My three pieces, purpose, passion, and perception. Your purpose is what you'll do if money didn't exist. I feel like if money didn't exist, I would run around the world teaching people, motivating people, and still speaking to people. That's my purpose. My passion fuels my purpose because I feel like I would do this. And you know, your perception is the way you look at life. So what you gotta understand to add value to yourself, I gotta say, I can add value to myself because I do this if money didn't exist. And then you gotta utilize people, not use them. Like, you can't be my friend if you can't utilize me. See, men and women had this secret relationship where they act like they ain't using each other. Uh, even, if, even if it's for SEX, you understand what I'm saying? They like they're not using you. The woman might want the money, the man might want the box. So they secretly using each other. But what you gotta do, understand for real. They, they, so what you gotta do is utilize each other. So me, Patrick, and Derek, we utilize each other. We're not using each other. So what you got is you got a beneficial relationship that appreciated value. Normally I get on here and tell y'all like how turned I am, I'm not going to lie. Right? I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Long day, long two days in New York. But today was phenomenal, man. Like the energy that the people brought. Um, I always get excited about people that will come out just to get knowledge and get better. Today we had over 100 people um, in Harlem. Myself, Charlie, Derek. Um, the biggest highlight for me today was a little boy in the back, man, doing some geometry homework. And afterwards, his mom just came and talked to us. He was saying he wanted to be a writer, but he probably wasn't going to make no money as a writer. I was like, bro, don't ever say that again. If you want to be a writer, you'll make plenty. My 11th grade English teacher never thought I'd make 20, 20 some thousand off of a book as I was an 11th grade English student, so. I started for real, probably about 2015, 2016. New York was the place that gave us our opportunity to really realize, like, Dreams come true every day. Whenever you're in a big city, whenever you're in New York, the city that don't sleep, opportunity is everywhere. So it's only right for us to be able to come back here, go to the Mecca in Harlem and really get in tune with our people. Then be able to bring the young kings out here and just enjoy the city for a second. So y'all know the model, keep working. Dreams come true every day.